See, I can't I can't keep the same tree and think the fruit going to change. Yeah, yeah. I need to plant another tree. Yeah. I need to plant a different seed. Yeah. So now what seed would that be? Jesus said in Luke 8, 11, the seed is the word of God. Seed. Seed. Let me get let me get a definition of seed. To furnish with something, to furnish with something that causes or stimulates growth or development. Mm. Reproduction, yeah. maturity, mm-hmm. causes, stimulates growth. Yeah. Yeah. That seed. Yeah. So now we could easily say that the word of God, it causes or it stimulates growth and development. Yeah. 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 The word causes us to grow and develop no matter what the situation is. See, in other words, whenever the word of God is applied or whenever the word of God is sown, the end result will be growth and development of that desired result. Never forget this. God's word carries the power within itself to reproduce itself. Yes. Yes. We learned that in Genesis 1. Yes. And not only is it seed, but we said on last week, it is incorruptible seed. Yes. The Apostle Peter wrote that in his book, 1 Peter 1 23. He says, You have been born again, not from some seed that will decay, but from one that cannot decay. Through the living word of God that lasts forever. Now, when I was reading that, I had to pause. You have been born again, not from some seed that will decay. But from one that cannot decay. Now, this might rattle someone, but 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 we're going to be all right. Can we all agree that the word of God is incorruptible seed? All right. Now, what does incorruptible mean? Incorruptible means not subject to decay. Everlasting, eternal. So now, since God's promises come from the word, And the word is incorruptible seed. Now, could we say that the promises is also incorruptible seed? In other words, not subject to decay. What does decay mean? Miriam Webster said it like this. Decay means to I, u- I like using Webster because he was a Christian Boy, and he uses Hebrew and Greek. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Decay means to undergo decomposition or to decline in health, strength, to fall into ruin. Decay means to decrease. To decline from a sound or prosperous condition. Mm, mm. To decrease usually gradually in size, quantity, activity, or force. Mm. It also means a wasting or a wearing away. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So now if something is noted as incorruptible. It's not subject to decay. In other words, it's not subject of any of those results that I just read what decay means. Come on now, stay with me. I'm going somewhere with that. So now, can we agree 
if I plant the incorruptible seed of God's word, which is my promise. Let's just say I plant my promise of healing. I'm planting promise of healing. You know, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't talking about how sick I am to anybody anymore. I ain't doing it. Now, let me say this. Let me add this. You know, and I've taught this for years about faith. Faith is not denial. You know, so I, I, I'm not, you know, some folks got some at me the last couple of years about COVID. You denying COVID. No, I just denied its power over me. That's all. I knew it was real. I never said it wasn't real. I just denied its power over me. So we're not talking about, you know, no, you know, we're not denying uh, 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 sickness or whatever it is. I, you, I, I, I'm just denying its power over me. Why? Because because what I'm planning is going to uproot that. All right. Let me make it a little personal. Years ago, when I planted the promise of healing over some things in my life. And then it, my healing manifested. I received my healing, my health. Yes. Now, based on all of this, what we read now, how come those things never came back? Because the promise is incorruptible. It's not subject to decay. See, unless I, I planted a, an opposing tree, you see, what I once had and lived with, it can never come back again. I know this is this. See, that's why I took the time and, and it's explaining incorruptible seed and decay. My promise is an incorruptible seed. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the tree and the fruit is incorruptible. Yeah, yeah. It's not subject to decay. Yeah. 